So the Santa Fe Watershed Association is a non-profit, non-governmental organization that deals mostly in, and promotes the health and vibrancy of the Santa Fe River watershed. And, and watershed's a key word in there. It's not just the river, it's the whole watershed. The watershed technically is a geographic area where all the water that hits that geographic area drains to one point. In our case, that one point is the Rio Grande. And because it's all connected, anything that's done on one part of the watershed affects the other part. And it's the proverbial spider's web. You pull on one strand and it affects the other. The watershed encompasses the city and the county and the U.S. Forest Service. There's some state lands in there as well. well that includes the groundwater, the surface water, the upper, uh, upper slopes of the uh, upper watershed all the way down to the Rio Grande where eventually the river flows. And, and we deal with, with all of the stakeholders and shareholders along that river. We want to basically keep the river flowing, uh, of course, on the surface, but also recharging the aquifers. The aquifers, for our selfish reasons, are the, uh, our insurance policy during those drought years. So if we don't do anything, then we're going to be subject to the uh, whims of the climate. So some years we'll have more water and some years we'll have less. And the general trend has been to have less and less and less and less, as you probably know, with climate change. Snow has been a factor and our snow pack has been definitely a factor over the millennia with our watershed. But the snow pack has no relation to the summer patterns, especially the monsoonal patterns. And so therefore what we're going to get, and we are getting with climate change, is less of a snowpack because our, our weather is a little warmer and we're getting less of a monsoon. So we're kind of getting a double whammy. So what we're trying to do is create an underground reservoir that is not as prone to precipitation and drought and evaporation that we have in our other surface reservoirs. The biggest thing you can do to help is by, by trying to infiltrate water. And that can be done with, with rain gardens, what we call rain gardens, bioretention basins, where basically you're taking some storm water and, and helping to infiltrate it back into the aquifers. And that happens all throughout the watershed. So that getting water back into our aquifers and not treating stormwater as this thing to be shutted off on, down, on downstream as fast as we can. We're trying to keep it here and let it infiltrate back into our aquifers. The notion is to try to have as many points of infiltration as we can because that's what it used to be like before we were here and before we had paving and roofs, the water infiltrated throughout the watershed. Now we've channelized it and that has caused so many of the issues. So we're trying to get back to infiltrating it throughout the watershed. So many people assume that there's some big agency taking care of our Santa Fe River and our Santa Fe River watershed. But in fact, the ownership is, is many stakeholders. I'm gonna guesstimate 40 or 50 major stakeholders and shareholders property owners of the watershed. And there is no specific agency for oversight of that watershed. So what we have tried to do since 1997 is to basically try and bring them all together and say, what are you doing? There was a formal management plan for the municipal watershed that we, again, brought the folks together on in 2010. And that's the municipal watershed plan, 20-year plan that we're still operating under. And now we're, we're working with the WaterSmart grant, Bureau of Reclamation, to do the um, total watershed plan, never been done before. Probably the biggest thing that the community can do is, is to show up at so many of these meetings because community involvement is key and, and part of our job is to tell you when those are and we try and do that. And then the other 
Uh, support that we need is, of course, our, our volunteers. We, one of our four primary goals is stewardship of this river and this watershed. And that takes stewards, volunteers, going out into the rivers and into the arroyos and helping to, to clean up the trash and helping to plan how best to reduce the erosion and the damage that happens in so many of these areas. And then for our restoration projects, it's helping us get funding. Kids can love the watershed, they can pick up the trash, they can, they can keep an eye on what's going on there because, you know, most kids, they, for instance, they know the arroyo in their backyard better than anybody. So kids can be the eyes and ears for us because it's all for them anyway. This river has supported the, the city of Santa Fe for 400 plus years and there's no reason why it shouldn't continue to support us for another four or 500 years. But we have to take care of it. Thank you for joining us today. It means so much to us to have the support that you all demonstrate by, by being here and by watching this.